Uh, this is uh, just in case you happen to have a plastic bag and a little bit of twine. You can also use your shoestrings for this uh, to make a makeshift uh, water filter in the wild if you don't have one. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to have a fairly long cord, you know, not too long, you're going to use to hang in the tree. And you want to just tie, uh, uh, tie up, kind of pinch the ends of the open bag, and you want to tie it around on both sides. And tie it tightly, very, very tightly on both sides, like that. And do it on the other side. This, uh, uh, what we're going to be making here is a quick water filtration system. Try it like that. And you don't have to necessarily use a plastic bag, then you want to, uh, but you can use uh, anything that'll hold water uh, that you can tie up and hang into a tree. Then you want to go ahead and poke a hole in the bottom of the bag. Right at the bottom of that, you want to take this littler string. And you don't want to tie it too tightly. You want it to be tied closed good, but you want it to be able to pass water through it. So you want to, you want to tie it, but not too tight like so. Make sure you can kind of get your finger in there and kind of spread that out and about like so. Yeah. And then the next thing you're going to do is on the bottom of that, you're going to, you're going to pick up little tiny gravel pieces like so, like this. And you're going to fill it up, put it in the bag. Like that. Let's see what we're doing so far. Uh, kind of, kind of do a pretty good job of it. Then you want to kind of hunt for uh, bigger pebbles and whatnot. It's going to take you a little bit longer to collect these, uh, but the bigger pebbles as well, off the ground, in the wild, whatever, and start stacking them on top of the. Now, the charcoal is really important because it, it can absorb uh, hundreds of times its own its own uh, volume in. Uh, toxic substances, including heavy metals that are toxic in the water, and even many of your chemical poisons. Uh, so if the water was poisoned, it would filter the poison out as well. Uh, charcoal is very valuable as a filter. So once we get that there, we get the charcoal. So we got two layers of charcoal, some sand, uh, heavy, you know, a little bit larger gravel, uh, smaller pebbles. Now sometimes charcoal. when you're making this filter, these uh, knots want to slide off the edge of the bag. One way you can, what you can do to prevent that is simply after you've tied them, is to then tie a knot, twist this up real good, and tie a knot in the plastic above the knot that you made to tie it in. So that'll prevent it from sliding off and falling. Okay. Like so. Okay. What we do now is we take this whole mechanism uh, and we hang it up into a tree branch. Can you see him? Just like that. And down below, it, we, we, we go ahead and we put uh, something to catch the water that's being filtered through here. You know the quick. Then. We have something down below it to capture, uh, to capture it all against the quick. You just go through the water right through Growing here is uh, uh, is a Mahonia, uh, which is also known as uh, as Oregon grape root. The Oregon grape contains on the berries, as well as on the leaves, uh, a powdery substance in on most of the plants that is a natural uh, uh, wild yeast that has been used in in uh, wilderness situations to rise breads, uh, as well as to make alcoholic beverages. 
the berries themselves, the berries themselves are edible. Uh, they're a little tart, a little sour. The root of this plant, as well as the bark, uh, the inner bark of this plant, contains a powerful antibiotic compound known as berberine, which is a potent antibiotic. It's especially effective in bronchial infections, uh, uh, such as bronchitis, as well as pneumonia. But it is also a broad-spectrum antibiotic, so it's good in ointments for, for skin infections, as well as just infections in general in the body. Anyway, uh, Mahonia aquafolius, uh, also known as Oregon grape. This is one you really want to make a note of. It's an extremely useful plant in the wild. And again, the berries are edible and serve as a good food, food source. Okay, um, even though this is a, a video largely on dealing with uh, water purification, we're going to discuss that. Uh, I wanted to point out, while I, I've seen it, this is a, uh, a crow's foot, uh, cinquefoil, and uh, you can tell it's got little heart-shaped, five-petaled yellow flowers on it, and it's got a palmate, heavily toothed leaves on it. And this particular plant is something you want to make a note of in the wild, especially in the mountains or wherever you happen to find it growing, because it is one of the best steptics for stopping bleeding, applied to wounds, smashed and applied to wounds. It's also uh, a disinfectant for wounds. And in addition to that, uh, it's one of the best remedies in the wild to treat burns. So anyway, uh, pros to sink with oil. Um, and it's, it's not something you want to forget. Can you get a close-up of I this? I did. Can you get a close-up of the leaf? 